The Nacogdoches train depot served as a primary means of mass transportation in and out of the Piney Woods for over 40 years, sending men off to two world wars, bringing students in to study at the new Stephen F. Austin State Teachers College, and later the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps School. However, just as it had in the rest of the country, rail travel in Nacogdoches was on the decline, and in 1956, the last passenger train stopped at the Nacogdoches Depot. The, the train office, the Southern Pacific, Union Pacific, they switched back and forth, um, used it as office space. They divided it up. In fact, you can still see some of the, the marks on the floor where they put in small knee walls. Unfortunately, they tore out the seating in the large waiting room. Um, so they used it as employee office space. And then when they decided they didn't want to keep up with the repairs, the roof started leaking, they moved offices out and just used it for storage. Um, and then for a number of years it sat neglected with holes in the roof, broken windows, and they didn't really care. The Center for Regional Heritage Research occupies the structure uh, and keeps it open to the public. And they are working on exhibits that will talk about the transportation history of Nacogdoches, not just the railroad depot itself. Going into the future, whether the center continues to operate out of there, whether it's another center or whether the city um, operates staff out of there, the role of the structure will always be a museum discussing the roles of transportation in Nacogdoches.